Hey guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. As you can see today, we're going to take a look at Van Halen's version of uh, Where Have All the Good Times Gone. Um, this was another supported request by Tendency, so big thanks goes out to him again. If you would like to support this channel, uh, all of the links are going to be in the description box down below. You can either go to Patreon or directly through my website. And I thank each and every one of you who has supported me so far. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't have the backing track for this song, so we're going to have to stick to the guitar parts only. As far as the sound, again, I was using the uh, VST plug-in guitar rig, and you will see the picture of the presets uh, that I was using for this lesson shortly. Regarding tuning, now, we're going to be in standard tuning. However, if you would like to play to the original track, um, you will have to tune down all your strings about 30, 40 cents down, okay? Another way how you can do it is to set up your tuner instead of uh, to 440 you would set it up to 432 okay and then tune up accordingly you know as to the standard tuning all right so um, again the tabs are going to be available for download at guitarforce.com for really low price if you're interested go and go ahead and check it out um, all right, so as you are checking out the picture of the preset I was using for this lesson, here is my low E for your tuning reference. All right, so I hope you're ready with your whammy bar as we're going to need it for this lesson for sure. And uh, without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. All right, so the intro part goes like this. All right, so here we start off by playing a double stop on the B and the G strings, 9th fret. Then we play the D string, 9th fret. And back again to the double stop and sliding down to the 7th fret. Now this slide is a grace note, so it's played fast. Like that. As we stay here on the 7th fret, we add two dips with the whammy bar. And practically that's the whole thing that we play during the intro for three times. Uh, now, before we play the third time, we have a, a little slide from 7th to 9th fret on the D string. And then the last part, we have another grace note. Uh, so as we stay here on the seventh position here, we hit the um, the double stop and we have a grace note. So fast slide up to the ninth fret and then back again to the seventh fret and hit it one more time. You can add some vibrato and then we have a slide out on the low string. So all together these three little parts go like this. Then after that we go to the next section which is uh, being played during the choruses as well and it goes like this. Alright, so as you can see it's pretty straightforward. All we do is we play two power chords A and B. Rhythmical side of things goes like this. We hit the A chord sliding up to the B little rest, then we play two more times, and the second time we slide down back to A. Again, little rest, two times A, and we slide up to the B again, and it goes between these A and B chords uh, in this fashion. Now, Ed is playing uh, little variations here and there, including uh, dead strings, okay? So instead of the rest, he would play uh, for example, two sixteenth notes, okay, uh, or just once. And sometimes leaving uh, this A power chord in the end of uh, the riff uh, to ring out for the whole beat, okay. So uh, the best way is just to listen to the original track and I'm sure you're going to be able to spot on uh, all these little details.
All right, so the next section is going to be uh, during the verses, and the first part is practically the same as we did with the chorus, uh, with a um, uh, couple of things different. So the first one is being he palm mutes the chords, okay, when he's playing this. <laughs> And uh, also we have this um, kind of semi-harmonic note um, played uh, during the uh, verses. And how we do it is simply with an up pick stroke, you hit the uh, higher strings while you are in uh, the uh, A power chord position. Now, because I'm not pressing down on the strings, actually on the higher strings, and because the finger is laid between fourth and fifth fret we get here uh, the uh, kind of harmonic sound okay so one more time the whole thing all right so this is the uh, second part during the verse the uh, verses where we're going to be using octaves so the first one is uh, the A octave, so on the low E we have 5, on D string we have 7. And um, the rhythmical pattern for the octaves goes like this. Each octave we hit it two times, and the second time we slide up to the next octave, okay? So we have... So as we go from A octave, 5th position, up to the B, 7th position, then up to D, 10th position, up to E, 12th, and then back down to the D, 10th position. So one more time. And then we go for the E power chord at the 7th position here, letting it ring out for the whole bar, and then the next section goes like this. So as we stay here on the E power chord, letting it ring out for the whole bar, then we go into C sharp minor chord and uh, we are picking different strings. So we go first for the A string at the 4th fret and then we pick from the higher strings. So this is the E note. You can play it either from the B string or just open high E, whichever you prefer. Um, I prefer playing it like this, so on the second string, the B string, 5th fret, then I come up to the 6th um, uh, fret on the G, 6th on D, then we go to B uh, sus chord, B sus 4, it goes like this, so we play the B notes on the second fret of the A string, we skip one string, the D string, and we go uh, for the uh, G, fourth fret, B, fourth fret, and then I uh, hammer on onto the fifth fret of the B string. And as um, uh, the uh, E note on the fifth fret B string rings out, I play the A power chord. Like that, okay? So you have to make this E note ring out. Alright, so these are the three chords after the E power chord. Then we have... This part. So basically after these three chords, after the A power chord, we go into... It's uh, basically playing uh, the uh, F sharp uh, major uh, with the uh, in C shape position, but uh, Ed is concentrating only mainly on these three strings. And then we go to the E major chord. Now here again he's playing different variations uh, every time. The first time you can just slide into the um, 8th fret of the D string and then catching this uh, B string at the 7th uh, fret little rest and then we have 
we have uh, basically shifting down two frets and we play slide into the sixth fret on the D, then pick uh, the B string at the fifth fret and uh, G at the fourth fret. Little rest and then we have this run down and it's, uh, it's, it goes like this. On the B string I play fourth fret and it's kind of semi harmonics again going on here or pinch harmonics pinch harmonics if you will and uh, the first note on the fourth fret of the B string is um, played like a little band so half step band then we go fourth fret on the G string then on to the D we go four three two open and as we play open we then have another pull off from the second to open string and all these notes I played, like I said, semi-harmonics, semi okay? Like that. Now, like I said, uh, Ed is playing a couple of variations here when he plays this part. So, when he goes to the, for the uh, E power chord after the octaves... He then picks the uh, E note here on the 7th uh, fret of the A string. Now we play these three chords uh, as they are. Now the uh, variations occur when he plays here on the uh, F sharp major and uh, E uh, major chords. So one variation is uh, he he would pick all the strings, like three strings, slide into the eighth fret, then goes for the uh, B string, G string, then shifts the position, so slides to the uh, uh, six frets on the D, and he might go up the string, so fourth, third, and second. Again, little rest, and then we have this part. Now this part is, uh, you can play it here, like that, all right? So it would be one more time. Sometimes it's harder to get this harmonic here. All right, so it would be here on the uh, eighth frets on the G string, going to nine on D, then onto the A string, nine, eight, seven, five, seven, five. All right, so again, um, you can play it either going from uh, this note up to the B string, to G, and then going up uh, the uh, strings or going down again. It's up to you, okay? So that's this section during the, uh, uh, during the verses. All right, so one more time, kind of slower. I'm going to play this section uh, starting from the octaves. <laughs> time. Okay, so after the chorus we have another section which is kind of middle section if you will where Ed is playing, it's not really a solo but he's playing some licks and um, right at the end of the uh, chorus we have uh, this transition which goes like this so as we play between these two cor chords the A and the B uh, during the um, chorus section uh, we then have in the end this run which is um, starting with the slide on the A string into the 9 to 7 then on the D string we have 11 to 9 
and then we have a bend on the 11th frets of the G string and again adding some dips here with the whammy bar about four times okay and then we go into the next section which goes like this Alright, so let me stop right here, break this section down into two parts because uh, this guitar ain't loyal and uh, doesn't want to stay in tune after the dive bomb. So I'll retune it real fast and uh, we'll explain to you how it goes. Alright, so this section starts off by playing the E power chord. Right? And then we add a trill on the G string between 7th and 9th fret. And as we do the trill, we then have some slides going on using the uh, pick, so pick scraping on the strings, up and down. Then we go into, into these chords, so we have sort of gallop figure playing on uh, the uh, E uh, power chord. Then go into D. D chord, then the next one is going to be, it's like an inversion of the A chord, first inversion. But what we do is simply just shift the uh, first finger down to the fourth fret instead of fifth. Okay? And then back again to the D chord. So all together, slowly. Like that. Then we have two um, harmonics going on. First one on the seventh fret, first one is going to be on the D string and then catching the uh, G. And then we have open G string and uh, dive bomb it with the uh, tremolo arm, with the whammy bar. Now I'm not going to do it again so I don't go out of tune, um, but this is the explanation of this first part. Then the second part goes like this. Alright, so here again, similar thing. We have another um, uh, gallop figure on the E power chord. Right? Then again, the trill. Again, the uh, pick scrapes. Same thing with these chords. And then we have two uh, harmonics. This time is going to be on the A string fifth fret. And the first one is uh, played for a whole beat, the second, and they are happening on the off beat, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we have two uh, harmonics on the fifth fret of A string, then we have a quick um, B string open, which is muted afterwards, and because the uh, uh, harmonic of the A string on the fifth fret is still ringing out, we add some dips with the whammy bar, okay? So we have, you know, going on like that. So that's this middle section. All right, so after this section, we go to the uh, final part of the song, which is practically the same as uh, played during the uh, choruses, with slight, again, rhythmical, rhythmical variations and also a couple of fills going on between. So I'm going to explain them to you. It goes like this. Alright, so as you can see, again, we're playing between these two chords and again adding some dead strings and so on. Uh, the first fill is we have, uh, as we slide up to the B chord in the end of the uh, section. So sliding from A to B, little rest, hitting the B again, and then we have... This is just played um, using the uh, first finger, fretting the uh, seventh fret, and uh, kind of hitting the, uh, uh, the second, third, and fourth string like that. Then we go back to the uh, rhythm again, to the uh, riff again, I'm sorry. And second feel is going to be, again, as we slide to the B chord, pick it one more time, 
and we have so this time instead of staying on the seventh position here uh, again using the um, second third fourth string all we do is we we play it we hit it slide up to the ninth and back to the seventh fret and back again to the to the riff itself and then again we have this time um, this octave uh, run it's gonna be the same exactly the same with the exception of the last note so when we get to the E octave instead of going to D we go up to F but uh, I mean it goes by so fast that you don't practically hear it anyway so after that we take this riff and we take it up an octave so we're gonna be playing A here between A and B in this position here so on the A string now it's gonna be on the fifth string root note A and B chord here now again he's playing some different uh, rhythmical variations um, goes like this So as you can see, again, we are just playing between these two chords, A and B, and uh, Ed is adding some um, 16th notes, either dead strings or, you know, it's fretting the chord. All right, so as you can see, between the chords, we're just adding some... Uh, 16th notes, 4 16th notes, either playing the chord or dead strings, like I said. And that's how the song ends. Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.